Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial that will guide you through the steps to uh, submit an entry to the Algorithmic Substance Painter and uh, Snapshot Lens Studio contest uh, with a rubber ducky. Um, so if you download the package on the uh, contest page, um, you'll end up with uh, two folders, one for the Lens Studio project and one for the Substance Painter project. Um, so you'll have to download uh, for free the Substance Painter um, trial if you don't have it, if you don't have a license, and uh, Lens Studio on the Snapchat website is also free. So you end up with two folders. Um, first, we'll uh, take care of the Substance Painter project because we want to paint our asset first. So you go in this folder, you have a SPP file, which is a Substance Painter project, and you can either double click on it or um, open it by drag and dropping it in Substance Painter. You'll see that in this, in this project, if you switch to the texture set list here, uh, you'll have access to the ducky itself and uh, three different texture sets for the different pair of glasses. And these pairs of glasses are optional. You can texture them if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, when it comes to actual texturing in Substance Painter, uh, if you've never used Substance Painter before, uh, we recommend that you uh, watch our Getting Started with Substance Painter 2018 video on uh, tutorials.adigorithmic.com. It's a brand new tutorial series that goes through all the basics of Substance Painter and how to texture assets. Um, so that should, that should uh, give you a good head start and let you um, start to, to paint your materials and, and create um, a cool asset. In my case, uh, I'll just switch to um, the little ducky that I did on my free time just, uh, just for fun. And you'll see that I, uh, I chose a little um, denim ducky. So I basically used some of the small materials that come with Substance Painter. Uh, I only use the, the stock materials and alphas and, and tools um, that come with the tool here. And um, I had a little um, denim one with a zipper and some buttons here. Had a little fun. And um, so now my ducky is ready to be exported to uh, Lens Studio. So um, everything is already set up for you in the project. So all you have to do is uh, go in File and Export Textures. You'll have access to different texture sets. You can either uh, export only the ducky or the sunglasses, depending on, on if you um, painted the sunglasses. Make sure you have the Lens Studio preset selected here and just hit Export. Texture will be exported. You can open the folder and uh, see your final texture. You should have three textures. You have a base texture, which is our um, diffuse or base color, a normal map over here, and uh, what we call uh, material params, which is uh, a map that uh, combines uh, the middleness map and the roughness map and everything that um, the shader in Lens Studio needs to uh, display this object. So now we have our textures exported and we can go back to our um, project here and this time go into Lens Studio. So you'll have an LS proj file here and you can just double click on it to uh, open Lens Studio in the document. wait for the project to load and uh, you should see the ducky in this uh, tool over here in the main window and uh, on the right side you should see the ducky uh, kind of in um, kind of a phone preview to show what it would look like uh, on your phone. That preview by default is fixed uh, but you can also switch over here to a video preview and uh, that allows you to just place the ducky and see how it looks uh, when you would do some uh, actual augmented reality with your phone and kind of move around um, the asset. All right, so now uh, you'll see on the uh, left side here, we have our uh, objects at the top and then our resources here. If you've been using the glasses, uh, you can go in the ducky object over here and uh, you can activate these glasses depending on uh, which one you need for your project. In this case, uh, I didn't use the glasses, so I'm just gonna keep uh, just the default ducky. And at the bottom here, we got the resources with a ducky texture replace me um, tag over here and if we Look at this, we have all the base textures and right now they're kind of dummy texture just with the yellow color. We're gonna replace that with our own texture. So I can go back to my uh, export folder, select my textures, uh, copy, and then I'm gonna go into my lens projects, in the public and uh, ducky textures folder. And you can see all the default textures over here. I'm just gonna replace them with mine. Yep. As you replace them, you should see the ducky in Lens Studio update and uh, you'll have the exact same material and this exact same look that we had in Substance Painter. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now that we're uh, ducky is ready, you can save your projects and uh, you can also pair your phone over here. So um, if you have your phone uh, in hand, you can uh, click on pair and uh, open the Snapchat app 
and you'll be able to uh, test your Ducky on your phone directly. Once you're done with the testing and you're happy with, with how the Ducky looks, you can just uh, go over here and uh, click on Submit the Lens. So what this will do is, uh, So when you're done uh, testing your asset and you're happy with the look of your uh, ducky, you can uh, look at the project info. And uh, in here, it will uh, you can rename your lens the way you want. Uh, you can choose a custom icon and you also can check the size. And uh, typically the size is very important because uh, lenses can only be four megabytes maximum. Uh, in this case, my texture are a little too high resolution for, um, for my ducky and the, the, I exceed the maximum size. So what I'll do is um, I'll cancel over here, go back to my uh, Substance Painter project. And when I export over here in Export Textures, uh, I can actually change the resolution of my uh, exported maps. In this case, I'll just go down to uh, 512 by 512, re-export my textures, and then I'll just uh, copy and paste them again. There we go. So now I have my 512 by 512 ducky, and uh, if I look at my project info, I am now under the four megabytes limit. So I can actually um, rename my um, lens the way I want, and I can just submit it over here. So to submit the lens, you'll have to log in with your uh, Snapchat account, and um, you'll be able to uh, submit it. There is a little um, uh, processing time for that, maybe a few hours. And after a few hours, you get a confirmation with a, um, snap code that you can use to uh, share your ducky around with your friends. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you uh, need any more help, you can uh, reach us on our forum on uh, the uh, thread dedicated to uh, the Snapchat challenge or on the uh, Snapchat Lens Studio forums as well. Thank you for listening.